this is a remote app. Uh, remote app is a way of delivering applications uh, over the internet or um, private cloud or, or, or even just on the local LAN uh, from a remote desktop server. Um, you may be familiar with the traditional remote desktop services or RDP they call it where you just connect to a server and you've got a remote desktop you know and there's a start menu and there's all your applications in the taskbar and the whole works. So you're almost working like you know picture in picture within you know another uh, virtual desktop on your machine. Uh, remote app uses the same underlying technology except just imagine they've st taken away the desktop, kind of clipped out all of the um, windows and untethered them. See, so like for example, I've got here uh, like sales transaction entry open. Uh, I've got GP open, but I'm looking at the desktop on my computer. This is like my start menu and uh, you know my local machine. Uh, but if I open up like you know sales transaction entry, uh, it's in a different window, and I can drag them around. If I had multiple monitors, I could drag them to the different monitors. Um, you know, but GP, even though you see the icon down here, you know, and you can switch between the windows just as if it was installed locally, the experience is, it's almost indistinguishable from a locally installed application, but you'll notice, you know, it's, a, it's running as a remote desktop connection with these two windows. And now when you install um, remote app applications, you see here that they integrate into the start menu as well. So they really look like they're just installed locally on the computer, but when I click one of these, it's going to uh, take me to you know a remote desktop session, uh, and I'm going to show you guys you know what the installation process looks like. It's really easy. On uh, Windows 8 or newer, you know you've got the remote app and desktop connections here in the control panel. So essentially, you just uh, click you know add a remote desktop, and then you guys would have a unique URL, uh, you know going to your going to your server. Uh, but essentially, you just add in that feed. You authenticate, and what it's going to do is, is reach out to the remote desktop server, and it's going to pull down a, a list of published applications. So now, uh, you know, you can see we've got two programs that are published here: uh, GP and Outlook. And so now we can just run the application. This is where kind of in the background it's connecting to the server. But once that happens, it looks exactly like a locally installed application. So as far as integration with the desktop, it's a lot better because users aren't kind of stuck, tethered within one desktop and then you know, maybe they want to tab over and use their local browser or another local application, you know, to work with files in Office 365 or something like that. They can do that a lot easier in a remote app scenario.